Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. In this channel, we talk about men's fragrance content and unisex fragrance as well. Top 10 lists, full and depth reviews, and first impressions and giveaway announcements. So if you like this type of content, don't forget to show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like the video and click the bell icon to be notified for future uploads and giveaway announcements as well. Today we're talking about a, a fragrance for now, it's the Pen Halligans. My first time trying the brand out, so it's pretty cool. Shout out to my friend Jeff for telling me about the brand. I should definitely check it out. I bought a Discovery set. Um, I'll zoom in and show you. I got about 10 samples. It cost me about 40 bucks. So it's pretty cool. I'll leave a link down below to Pen Halligan website to check out all their fragrances and sample sets as well. The one we're talking about today, sample one I want to talk about is from is from Penn Howe. Again, this is called Bethlehem Boutique. So in this video here, I'm going to give you my first impression, how much it costs to see if I like it or I don't. You can get a 30 mil for $95 and you can get a 100 mil for about 165. So it's like a $70 difference plus tax and shipping. This is Bethlehem and this is Boutique. So this is one of their favorite fragrances from the brand that most people go in the boutique and they actually like or the salespeople present this fragrance to men and women. Automatically a unisex fragrance a man could wear, a woman could wear. So why not talk about a fragrance on my channel if that's unisex for men and women that can both wear it. I'm gonna spray it on here. Okay, now I've worn it a few times so I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it. The note breakdown we have is lemon, um, lime, lavender, pine, black pepper and musk. Mm, so this one opens up very lemony on my skin. That clean uh, freshness about a fragrance. It feels like it's something that you just took a fresh shower and you're very fresh and clean type of feel. Like you just uh, hopped out the shower and you're about to put your clothes on. You know, you're ready to go out to, ready to go tackle your day. It's a very refreshing type of fragrance. Some powdery, slight powderiness in the background as well in the fragrance, but it's not too powdery like you would think of a Dior Homme by Christian Dior. You would think of a Prada Lome. It's not that thick powdery, but there's a slightly powderiness in the background. It's a very soapy type of quality, this fragrance here. So it's fresh with the lemon, but then there's a soapiness quality about this fragrance as well. You definitely do get some lavender in the background, so you get that lavender touch in the fragrance as well, which blends it in very nicely with the lemon in the fragrance and the soapy quality as well. Definitely get little hints of pine kind of um, needles in the fragrance as well. So it kind of gives it um, a nice green touch to the fragrance. This one here I do like. Now I worn this about, I want to say three times so far, um, you know, from just a little sample I have here and it performs okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. So the few times I've worn it, keep in mind, I don't have a full bottle. So the atomizer is going to be a lot better than my two mil I have here, um, four to five hours of longevity on my skin, which isn't bad for a fresh fragrance. Keep in mind the notes in here we have is lemon, we have lime, we have lavender, pine. That lemon and lime opening, it does calm down some. You get more lavender and pine. You get a soapiness in the background throughout the life of the fragrance. But four to five hours isn't too bad. If you get yourself the 30 mil for 95 bucks, you're not gonna break the bank. If you really like the fragrance a lot, I would highly suggest getting the 100 mil and you can overspray it. This is fragrance, I feel like you can do about six, six, seven sprays on your skin. Maybe six or eight and you should be good to go. Projection, you're looking at about a good hour or so of projection. After that, it does come very closer to the skin. That first hour, people are gonna catch whiff of the fragrance, so you will get noticed, but it's not where it's gonna be that 100% compliment of the fragrance. It's more of like, oh, you smell nice today. You smell fresh today. You smell very soapy today. Season occasion, so for me personally, this is gonna be your, um, pretty much, it could be a signature scent for most women and men out there. It could be an all year round fragrance, or it could be primarily a great spring and summer fragrance. If you have other fragrances that you wanna wear in the fall and winter time, but as it is, I would refrain from wearing this in the colder months because it's really not gonna perform that well. But if you're indoors in the office, this is great all year round. Occasion wise for me, I feel like you can wear it anytime. It could be dressed up or dressed down. It's that much of a rich quality, very fresh and soapy fragrance that there's not a wrong time when to wear this fragrance. Date night will be perfect, um, casual, business meetings, 
everybody's gonna say you smell very fresh and clean and maybe soapy so you're not gonna get any negativity with this fragrance here ratings and final thoughts okay so i don't have a full bottle so i don't want to go too in depth but from my sample i really do like it from my sample i'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 it smells very good this is something that if you're looking for a nice upgrade for maybe a designer game and you want a very nice, fresh, gentleman, fresh and clean, soapy fragrance, this is something you should definitely check out. Keep in mind, performance isn't going to be the best. It's in that four to five. You might get maybe six hours, but this, you're going to have to reapply it throughout the day to make this fragrance last. That's pretty much it. At the end of the day, I really like this one. This is one that Kelly says she said it's okay. She's not the biggest fan of it. I think it's because of the powderiness in the background of it. And it's very fresh and soapy, which she said, okay, that's good. But she's like, get a powderiness in the background. She's like, it's okay. It's not her favorite, but it's fine. It's one of those fragrances that I can always buy it and spray and wear it to work. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to always wear it around the house. I have tons of fragrances. But this is the one I'm considering buying from the house of Penhaligans. And this fragrance is called bethlehem boutique if you guys heard this fragrance let me know in the comment section do you like it love it or hate it what's your favorite pen Halligan's fragrance let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching another fragrance video if you like this type of content and you learn something from it and you're new to the channel i hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button down below liking the video and click the bell icon so be notified for future videos like this and give one announced as well be safe everyone me and kelly care about all you guys around the world and i'll catch you in my next video Peace.